season four coldest balls, the bubble. Ha! In your face, NBA. <laughs> How you doing, man? Mm -hmm. uh, man? Good to see you too. Take off your robe over there, yeah. throw it to the side. Yeah. CB. Did you grow? I yeah. did a little bit. I had a little spurt. When they said uh, last yeah. time, I'm, I'm like five four and a half. You should do the measuring joint. Yeah. The tape on your side, so yeah. every time I come, I can see the progress that yeah. I made. I do right? the same thing. Just with think my about side. it, man. Oh God, let's go. All right. Hey. Ha! Getting it now. Thanks for the step, by the way, too, man. I, um, for safety. <clears throat> yeah, you know? I needed that one. Welcome to all new episode of Coldest Balls. Today's guest is none other than the man, the myth, the legend. It's Chris Bosch. How are you, sir? I'm doing good, man. I'm no complaints, bro. A lot to talk about, man. Let's go back to the beginning. Your draft class. Yeah. What's your mindset when you see people that you're entering the NBA with? You know what? We were all kids, man. Me and LeBron have been knowing each other for a couple years. Mm -hmm. I had met Dwayne. We had the same agent, known Melo. We played together on the junior national team. So, you know, these are our peers. Where did you think you were going in that draft? I knew I was going to Toronto. It's a big jump to go to Canada. Yeah. You know, because you're leaving. Right. You're not only leaving the States, but you're leaving your familiarity. Did that have any effect on you? Yeah, it did. Um, in the beginning, it was real hard, man. Toronto is more of like a melting pot. And for me, I had never been around uh, other people from different places. Yeah. So that was like kind of an adjustment. And I was 19 um, and we didn't have any young guys on the team. I was the youngest guy by far. Money woes in the beginning or no? No money woes. You don't get any money woes. It's pretty, you know. I'm, I'm sorry. It's pretty. Give me a second. Is this a Raptor, guys? It's a pretty good impersonation, I'm sorry. actually. No, I'm sorry. It's fine, it's good. Bam, you don't have to do this. Did you they, tell them to do this? No, they, they, they get creative on their own. All right. Bam, you, your Raptor's taking a long time to move around. You're, you're take, no, that Raptor, he needs to sit down. Um, back to the money question, man. Yeah. So, 19 years old, you know, you're getting this crazy amount of money thrown at you. Are you spending money on stupid <laughs> That came a little later. Later. Eventually, you find yourself in the Diamond District trying to buy watches yeah. and chains and yeah. all that crazy. You get caught up in it fast. When do you feel like your financial education came? Uh, last year. That's funny as hell. That's funny as hell. I just, it just came for me, Kev. Let's talk about Chris Bosh, the superstar now, right? Okay. You get there, you, you're in Toronto, you know, Vince Carter, you, mm -hmm. that's actually a competing program. Yeah. Then Vince leaves. Yeah. What was that? You know, we trade him, and then, and we were good friends, and now he's gone, you know, one of my heroes. We weren't that good after that. Yeah. You know, it was yeah. kind of like a shock, and that's when you kind of see that other side, like the bottom of the barrel. Bottom of the barrel. Yeah, you yeah. know, NBA and, and really having to grind every day and knowing you still gonna get your kicked the next uh, couple weeks, couple yeah. months, couple years, whatever. Uh, but I, I kind of looked at it as an opportunity. Question for you, who had the greatest influence on your success and how did that affect your confidence? I, I don't want to give um, credit to one person. Mm -hmm. It was uh, a multitude of people. For me, mine's is probably Probably Old Spice Sweat Defense. Not a, not Done a plug. Done a lot for a lot of people. You know, yes, yeah, not a plug. It's just. I know you got to do your plugs, but you want to. Wasn't a plug. Okay, cool. You want to get in? Yeah, we can get in, but don't think that that was a plug. Need a lot of confidence. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. So I might start playing again. Yeah, no, I've been getting complaints from my fans that I don't get straight in, so I decided Ooh. today. Yeah, I did notice that. You yeah. never get in, man. Sometimes it's it's a little too cold. Mm, yeah. Um, let's start going to good times. Chris Bosh, <laughs> I'm a I'm a player. I'm a legit player in this league. I'm yeah. low key, unstoppable. When you talk about Kevin Garnett. You gotta put a Chris Bosh in that conversation as well. What's the Kevin Garnett and Chris Bosh relationship? I'm curious. He was my hero growing up. Yeah. When I was a kid, I had, you know, Kevin Garnett posters up. Yeah. And just the way he played the game, he was doing stuff I had never seen before. Mm -hmm. You know, before, if you put the ball on the floor, dribbling as, as a big, big man, man. Oh, bro, that's the worst thing you can do. Why are you putting it on the floor? Yeah. yeah, don't care. Every time, yeah. bro. So, like, once I saw that, I said, okay, it's nothing nobody can tell me. Yeah. Yeah, we... What are you... What are you doing, babe? What are you doing? Oh, come on, hit me. Hit me. <laughs> Get the f out of here. Get out. 
Get out. Well, that's some nice handles, man. You did kind of. Sorry. All right, so, Bosh, time for you to leave Toronto. Yeah. When this comes up, what's the thought? Are you thinking everywhere? Are you a kid in a candy store at this point? Well, yeah, everybody was really nice okay. to me. But it was really stressful because every day people are asking you, well, what are you going to do? Yeah. What are you going to do? And and I just wanted to be the best basketball player I could be to help yeah. the team out. So maybe we could make a postseason run or something like that. But that's the biz. What was... Oh, shut that baby up! Shut the baby up! I told him don't bring that baby to the bubble. I told yeah. him that. I'm going to bring my kids next time. You're fine because, you know, you're not here. But okay. you got to understand, we're living in this thing. Shut it up! Shut up, baby. Yeah. Sorry. Who else almost had a shot? Chicago, Houston, Miami. Really? Yeah. So then Miami, f it. Here's my decision. Yeah. Brian, D-Wade, you. Yeah. Holy f is the draft class all over again. Boom. For the first time in the NBA, Fans got to witness a entry concert. <laughs> the Miami Heat. Let me tell you how I've never seen it more in your face. Yeah. That we are extremely confident of the championships that we will win. <laughs> yeah, fire. <laughs> fire means I'm the sh Everybody knows that. Absolutely. Did y'all come up with this or no. was it that the, they did? The, yeah, the organization. So the decision was the night before. Right, so we were partying. I think I had been up for 24 hours straight yeah. almost at that time. Good time. We came to the arena, and I mean, it was people everywhere. They made the jerseys already, and thousands of people had them. And yeah, we pulled in there, and we hadn't even signed the contracts yet. Get the We didn't sign the contracts till right before we came, shot up out the stage. So y'all had, no, so had no idea. No. It makes so much sense right now, because when y'all walked out on stage, there's a moment of what the f like y'all looked For around sure. and then the all the sh starts happening and y'all just start jumping around on stage. Yeah. Cause you didn't know. Didn't know nothing. I found out that um it was a concert in town. That's why that stage was there. So they didn't build it for us. We were in between days in a concert. The business, it's all about <laughs> trickery, all right? It's all about fucking trickery. <laughs> I mean, the fact that you guys are now playing together is surreal. The biggest combination in basketball before this, it would have to be uh, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, sure. Rondo. This is the next stage of that. Right, pretty much. How did y'all make the decision? A lot of people think it happened in Beijing, it didn't happen in Beijing, in okay. the Olympics, it didn't happen there. Okay. But we all signed uh, deals that would put us in the free agency at 2010. Was that intentional? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. there's knowledge of, hey, if we do yeah. this, you we can still... you get more flexibility as an okay. individual. Did it almost ever fall apart? It got psychologically tough once everybody started taking the meetings because okay. when teams start printing out sheets and yeah. putting them in front of you and saying, okay, you're going to make this, yeah. and this is who you're going to play with, yeah. okay? You can make this and then play with these guys, you know? It's tough. I want to talk about that locker room. Mm -hmm. I got three franchise guys. Were there moments of... You're gonna have to be the guy. No, I feel like I'm gonna have to be the guy. Oh yeah. Okay. But first, you wanna, yeah. you gotta go above. All right. Yeah. More. I mean, I don't, I don't mind. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Bam, can you come and grab mine, please? Before we do this, uh, Chris. I did it. Let's talk about championships right now. You go to Miami year one. Had a tough time for a minute. Pretty tough. A lot of conversation, of course. Naturally, you can't help but to hear all this. Shit. Of course. Did it have an effect on you guys in that locker room? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um. I think we all were a little naive and thinking it was going to be easy. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we were getting our ass kicked a little bit. And I remember one particular uh, time we were eight and eight. Dwayne, he came in the locker room and he said, man, this has got to get better. I'm Dwayne Wade. I got kids. You know, we got to start hanging out more. We got to go to dinner. You know, it, it was it was pretty funny. It wasn't funny at the time. But I think from that point moving forward, we we had a different attitude about yeah. it. Yeah. It was pretty cool. <clears throat> I'll deal with that offline. OK, so year one is out the way. Yeah. Year two, you got no choice. It's time to respond. Right now, it's 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 put up a shut. Will you <laughs> cut it out, please? <laughs> Will you stop it? Please. Now, year two, now we, now we spent all... It's kind of rude a little bit. Bam. Bam, I'm trying, to, I'm trying my best to keep my composure here because the next version of what I'm going to do is the equivalent to a volcano erupting. 
this whole bubble of pop with the with the with the roar that I give you. I'll show you a raptor. You've been warned. You were saying? Season two. Yeah. Now you're balling. It is what it's supposed to be. Championship happens. All right? Yeah. Holy shit. Basketball's going great. Life is great. Life's great. My guy, CB, finds out he's dealing with other issues. Mm -hmm. CB has blood clots, man. Talk to me about that moment. Yeah, so we had just came off of All-Star Weekend. Mm -hmm. And I was in a lot of pain. I was in a tremendous amount of pain. I had a pulmonary embolism and didn't know it. Go to the doctor, they took x-rays, and then they sent me to the emergency room. They're doing all this stuff, and I'm looking at Sports Center, and, and we just traded for Goron. Like, I'm watching our season get better and worse at the same time. The doctors hook me up to the oxygen, and he go, what are you doing? Like, no, 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 you need this. The next 24 hours are critical. God, so, so that fast? Yeah, because I was playing in pain. I should have been playing. Was it a situation where if you hadn't have went when you went, it would have... I try not to think about that. If I hadn't gone that particular day, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, the universe is exactly what it is, but... That's a high five. <laughs> yeah. That's a high five from heaven. Yes, sir. Um, as things were great, the circle kind of was starting to repeat itself. Brian had made a decision, and that decision was to go and, and now leave. Yeah. Right? And return to Cleveland. Was there conversation about that? Was not in the beginning, no. I was a little hot. I'm not mm -hmm. going to lie to you. I was upset. I wanted him to know that I had a chip on my shoulder. I wanted to win. And it's kind of tough when he, you know, goes somewhere else. Like, oh, they're pretty good. Yeah. They yeah, <laughs> didn't have a bad team. And, it, you know, me and D had to become closer, have to have more conversations, and know that it was on us to, to, to make something happen. Yeah. I want to ask you a couple questions, just to see how much you really know me. Sure, done. How many times was I an All-Star? Well, I mean, I was there a lot, and I saw you. Court so, side. Yeah, so I'll say, I'll say you you a 12-time All-Star. I like that, though. I like that you gave me one more than, than I had. 11, right son on. of a <laughs> That's a technical. I should check the count. Bam, bam, right listen. Get back, get, get okay. on. Keep the flush, man. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Come on. Tingles is a good thing. The yeah. needles on the bottom of the toes, that's... That's good. What is my middle name? Ha! Easy. Bonsworth. Chris Bonsworth. Bon... <laughs> F*** you. <laughs> nice. Nope. Bonsworth. God. Wesson. I knew it. Wasn't even close. Wesson Bosch. <laughs> what was my high school nickname? Easy. Dirty Harry. <laughs> because they knew that you had a Smith and Wesson. Huh? Did you get it? <laughs> Listen to the jokes. Wesson. Daryl. Daryl. Yo, oh, what? All right. Jesus Christ. My high school nickname was KG. I oh. want people to, yeah. Of course. As embarrassing as that is, yeah. Are you going to act like KG? Should I say bad act? <laughs> I'm with you, KG. It was good. You were good in the movie. Now, what I'm going to do here before we go is act out a decision of my own. Uh, guys, Daryl, Bam Bam. You guys could just kind of get, yeah, get right there. Don't act like this. We're going to recreate the whole thing, OK? This is a big decision, but I want to say it here, OK? I, Kevin Hart. Brian did a pause like this. He did a long pause. That's the reason why I'm doing it. You got it, and then you got to say yeah. it. Really difficult. You said that. This is extremely difficult. Yeah. I'll be the dude that did the interview, right? What's, yeah, I'll be that dude. Hold on. This is really difficult. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I, Kevin Hart, am now making the decision to model full time. That's it? Yeah, that's, well, you know what? You keep pissing me off. I'm going to take my talents out the bubble and go elsewhere. There's a lot of other places I could go. OK, there's a bubble down the street, and I'll go to that Whatever you model, can you send me some clothes? Yeah, well, we don't have your size. Uh, only deal with two T's. And What's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Right now, you're watching season three of Cold as Balls. Oh, yeah. The bar. What up, your man? Thank you for having me. Oh, man, stop it. Put your robe right there on the hook. Then we'll come around and get in the tub. I'm getting in with my socks, so I don't want my feet to be all on. All on. You know, we're getting in the tub, right? Is this. Come all right, on. yeah, let's just go. Whew. Looks like we going scuba diving. Who gave him the note? <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to all new episode of Coldest Balls. Very special guest today. I got DeMar DeRozan. God damn. 
How you doing, brother? I'm great. You gonna keep the do rag on too? Yeah, huh? I'm gonna keep it all on. Okay. Keep the shirt on. Keep eight. the shirt on. Everything. You know what? I'm gonna flow with you, brother. Appreciate it. Maybe I'm overdressed. Can somebody go get my coat? Cause I want Demar to feel comfortable. So Demar, if you want me to put clothes on, you let yeah, me. Yeah, let's go for it. White hand. God. Who the? F Where's white hand at? Somebody's gotta tell me when mixed hand or white hand's gonna be here. It makes it look like I don't know who's on my show. Demar, I like to talk about. First and foremost, I'm gonna start by saying I'm a fan. Appreciate you. West Coast guy. Mm -hmm. Compton, California. Compton, California. Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> Was there ever any other any other want or or choice when it came to college, outside of of the West Coast option that you took? I was scared to leave. Home. Really? I was. All I knew was home. Big family? Small Big family. family. Big family. Any other breakthrough athletes or? No, I'm the only one. Only one? Only one. Nobody else came close? Nobody. Else. Ah, <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They suck. Yeah. Yeah, I have yeah. to say the same. <laughs> <laughs> you were drafted where? Ninth. Ninth. To Toronto. You go to Toronto. I go to a whole nother country. A whole nother country. When I'm trying to stay home, it was a rough one. I remember, um, when winter came, I'm still wearing chucks in winter. <laughs> People's looking at me like I was crazy. You only know what you know. Things are just completely different, Way different. on the other side yeah. of the world. Yeah. So you're in Toronto now. What was the biggest, the biggest shock for you? I didn't get a passport until I was drafted to Toronto. Holy sh I remember getting on the freeway. You see sh in, in French. Yeah. Like in a different language. Did you bring anybody with you? Did you have anybody? I was by myself. Okay. So I'm 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 19 around a bunch of grown men that got kids. Did that help your game, though? Yeah, that was probably the biggest lesson I, I learned and gave me the most discipline that I needed because it made me work on my craft even harder because okay. that's all I had. Who was in Toronto at that time? Like, your rookie year, who was out there? Um, somebody who helped me a lot was Jared Jack. Jared Jack's jeans have progressively gotten smaller, smaller yeah. over the years. Jared, I know you're going to watch this episode. Yeah, you definitely going to watch it. We know you will. And you don't have nothing else to do. Yeah, you definitely don't. You're you not got shit else to do. And I think that may be the reason for the new the new size change. He I, can't even put his cell phone No, 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 no. I saw the exact amount of change they, he had in his yeah. pants. I said, that's 32 cents. Yeah, that's... Right there. Yeah. Normally, people ask me to get in the tub. But judging by your outfit, you you may not want to get in the tub. You know, you're dressed. Let's, I should have wore a hoodie. Let's just get, <laughs> let's get in first. Um... No, so dude, so you got Jared Jack, you got Chris Bosch. You, you never always get in. Brother, that's my you, personal You business. always do this. Brother, listen. Every show, you 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 stop right there. Are we here to judge? Yes. All of a sudden, you the cold, cold as balls police. What the <laughs> f is this? Mixed hand. Thank you. This episode of Cold as Balls is brought to you by Old Spice. Sweat defense, anti-perspirant, which gives you 48 hours of protection. If you don't know, you know now. Thank you, mixed hand. All right, uh, when did you start to get accustomed to the Canadian lifestyle? My second year. Second year, really? Yeah, it took it took, it took me a full year to really get adjusted, how to embrace the, the fans, the people, because mm -hmm. it was near like a culture shock. When did you know that you could compete at a high level? I want to say my third, third, fourth year. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I heard a lot of that. Come on, Talek Vu. Start to really belong mm -hmm. and take off from there. When did Kyle come in? When did Kyle come Kyle there? came um, my third year. Talk to me about that that relationship. He was on the team a whole year. I didn't have a conversation with Kyle. Yeah, Kyle's weird, though. Kyle, no, Kyle, no, yeah, yeah. Kyle, Kyle's, Kyle's a weird Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's yeah. that Philly It's 100%. Yeah, that's that Philly, Philly And that thing. small man complex that y'all well, have. Like, well, he, I, I look at Kyle as a giant. My first year, I always have my own Compton mentality of like, man, who the, who the f you yeah. think you is? The hell you think this is, cuz? Yeah, all that. Cuz? I'm telling Mary, man, yeah. he know. I'm out here, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> I've been out here. <laughs> don't come out here. You yeah, know what don't come out here. Set tripping. Yeah, like set tripping. Tripping. Yeah. Do you do this? Do you do this right here? Like, do you, do you put your. I, I used to be bad with all that. I ain't bad. gonna lie, all that. Hey, cuz. <laughs> the thumbs gotta be on the chest, elbows out of a certain way. It's, it's a natural instinct. It's a natural thing. Yeah. So, you and Kyle, when did that seal get broken? When we first made it to the playoffs, he missed a game when a layup. He laid on the floor. And I got on the floor when I went, and I told him, I said, I don't give a shit if you would have made it or miss it. I'm riding with you no mm -hmm. matter what. Yeah. Ever since then, like. No, no dog. looking back. This is. Yeah, that'd be my man. That's my guy. Yeah. 
I know Kevin Love. Kevin Love spoke highly mm. about you. Kev got to talking about just how serious the mental right. health side of things were. He said, as athletes, people assume that we are just bulletproof. Right. He said, the pressure does get to us. And I credit DeMar, because DeMar gave me the courage to start to speak about what I was going through. Right. What was it that gave you the ability to become an advocate and just speaking about mental health? All-Star Weekend in LA. Okay. Um, I'm hyped. Thank you. I'm seeing all the homies, mm -hmm. but in reality, I just want to come home, see my kids. Wow. I'm seeing myself on the side of the Rich Carlton posters and shit. I just want to see my kids. Yes. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's yeah. like, I'm getting tired of this shit. Yeah. I've been through shit as a teenager that Nobody I never even to. I never even spoke of that I still deal with and yeah. suffer from from then. Yeah. With the Twitter. Yeah. And I said, man, this depression getting the best of me. Cause it was in the moment. Man, I did it before I went to sleep. I tweeted that. Man, I woke up to Oh, yeah. I'm like, what the Yeah, you woke to the floodline. Been there. I see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, been there, seen that, done hey. that. From the outside looking in, I'm telling you what I do realize, man. When I hear people talk about it, I'm blown away by not just the struggle, mm -hmm. but the day-to-day. -day. Right. You can only respect and admire a person who's not afraid to put that on the forefront. Right. After doing that, do you feel better? Man, I was somewhere eating one day. Some about 60-year-old dude come up to me and said, man, thank you for helping me by me coming out to speak out. Unreal. You know what I mean? Like, Unreal. To hear something like that, it's bigger than basketball. Bigger you than see basketball. what I'm saying? It's so dope to me to be able to do that. I believe everything happens for a reason, right? You going through the things that you went through, I'm now becoming better with being myself. Mm -hmm. I get hit with another bomb. What do you mean I'm out? Mm -hmm. What do you mean Toronto is out? Do you think all of the things that happen happen to prepare you for the business side of the NBA? No question, because you get you once you become content, you get comfortable, and you become naive to certain things happening. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't beat every record. Numbers every, don't lie. So when it hit, it was like, what the. Yeah. Now my whole perspective on things changed. Who was your biggest support system at the time? When it happened, I, I locked myself away for probably like five days. I can't be around anybody. I left, I left off the country. I'm eating on the island where they catching a lobster and come and cook it right on the <laughs> little went, island. You, you know what I mean? Like you, I'm nowhere. You went to the same no place phone. Tom Hanks shot Castaway. It was you and Wilson. That's it, like. You talking to Wilson. <laughs> feeling like he about to float away. Yeah. <laughs> All right, give me a favor. Let's uh, take out your, your your seat. We gotta go deeper in the tub. There you go. Oh uh, yeah, come on now. There you go. I ain't trying to get you all wet. My bad, dog. I getting wet. I don't care. Here, mix that. Daryl and Bam Bam asked to switch sides. Daryl wanted to be closer to you because Daryl's from Compton. He got the whole look on. Yeah, he said y'all could share some stories. He stole socks apparently, which was uh, I guess it was a thing in the neighborhood. He said uh, he said he was going. Bam Bam, what? What the f is going on, Bam Bam? It's my gang. So you from Compton too? Yeah. Hmm? Bam Bam Loke. Bam Bam Loke. If you agree to that nickname, do you know what that means? That means that they jumped you in. Bam Bam, you do not want to be Bam Bam Loke. That's oh. what I'm talking about. That's real Compton, right? What just happened here. You got a good life. You walk your thick back over here and you come to the good side of town. Moment of truth. Do the right thing. Oh, he didn't just give me the god loke. Those are two souls that I just lost. You hmm? better not fire him either. Oh, geez, I think that's a threat. You know, since we're talking about the middle finger, have you ever thought about flipping Kawhi off? <laughs> Did you ever walk by the TV and was like, man, f you, man. Like, nobody's <laughs> no. here, just you. No. No, just no. you. Ain't like, crossing my mind. Like, like, when he's talking, he's like, ah, when you do that. <laughs> 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 Kawhi, what you want for breakfast? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I ain't thinking no. about that, dog. What about San Antonio now? Life with Popovich. His coaching is up here, but him as a person is here. Really? It's one of the most unique things I've ever been around. He'd be the first to tell you, F basketball. We bigger than basketball. How are you doing? Wow. How can 
I make you a better individual. Like, He's seen tape on me. Pop wanted me. Only reason why I didn't go because I didn't feel, I didn't personally feel comfortable calling the older white man Pop. <laughs> you, you and I, we got something. So I know on the court, <laughs> it'll be better than what you and Kyle had. <laughs> Cause, yeah. Cause he's an Um, So you as a father, what are you as a father? I'm just like my kids. How old, how old are your kids? Uh, my oldest is six, mm -hmm. my youngest is three today. Cloud nine, are you serious? Yeah. Right this now. shows you how much I give a f about you because I'm here this on my daughter's birthday. Your child should wait. She should wait. I'm gonna let her know as soon yeah. as she's old enough to watch yeah. this. <laughs> when she old enough to watch this. No, I love the way you talk about your kids, man. Uh, the other thing I want to get to, man, Nipsey. You guys were close. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How, how close were you and, and Nipsey? Man, when Nipsey first got started was um, around the time I was coming up too through SC, came to have a dinner together, having yeah. conversations of how to make our community better. I used to always go to the shop, sit in the back of the shop, talk, talk to him, just chop it up, man, yeah. just on some man to man type stuff. Mm -hmm. So it could continue to preach that. Love it, man. God, Demar, I don't want to go into another segue after that because it's been so good. Man, this really started getting yeah. cold. Yeah. <laughs> Look. And you've been asking me all day and it's cold as like ice. Yeah. I got a couple questions for you. Easy. How many times have I been at All Star? First of all, let's, let's talk about the beginning. So we get there, right? 2009. So that's one. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Let me answer the question. OK. Oh, you set tripping, cuz. Appreciate that, Bam Bam Low. Four. Four. Correct. See? Now what I should do is take this ice out and knock your ass out with it. Yeah, D. Yeah, D, dog, dirty. You already know what it is. They come around here, cuz. They going to get what they want. Grown man, sh wolf. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's my uh, career points scored in a game? Oh, this is a good one. 57. Close. 56. 52. God <laughs> Bam, bam, low. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me, cuz. Come over here. You're not going to walk back. Oh, I was lying. Oh, you lucky I ain't got my heat on me, cuz. <laughs> Am I saying everything right? No, no, you saying it completely wrong. I'll give you two heaters. <laughs> uh, dude, so. I love the fact that we can be personable, we can be funny, but then we can also address real things. And I love the fact that people get to walk away from this episode and really see you and know you uh, and understand you. And we didn't get a chance to talk about the whole thing with you and your, your college. You, you were part of that scandal thing, right? Remember you, the white lady from Full House? You were on the rowing team or something no. like that? And they, we'll get to it next week. This has been <laughs> Coda's Balls, and we'll get to the scandal on how I hit him and his family. Thank you guys for watching, man. Hey, Bam Bam Low, you better not walk outside, cuz, because if you do, it's... Cameras, can y'all get that? Like, get Snoop's, like, feet comfortably, <laughs> and then get mine, like... The difference in comfort uh, between Kevin and Snoop. <laughs> he must be swinging his feet. Look like the goddamn Wizard of Oz. Have you ever been to the Olympics event? I've never been to the Olympics, man. Never. I've never been. So I'm so honored to be here live in Tokyo at the Olympics this year. Uh, I've never been to the Olympics oh, Kevin, either. Kevin, how about you? I, let me ask you, motherfucker. You just asked him what I, I'm that's how, that's how fast I am. I you see you too quick. Slow down. You know, I'd say the beginning of this is actually, man, is nothing like the beginning of the Oscars. Both big events, but uh, not not the same at all. Yeah, have you been to the Oscars? You know, goddamn well I ain't been to the Oscars. You know what the hell happened to me? That's a selfish question. That's a selfish question. <laughs> is that a Tokyo sign behind us or a Paris uh, Eiffel Tower? What is that? I thought we was looking at New York the whole time. I believe she is, uh, what, what is that? That's uh, Alaska, right, where she's from? She's Again? Me. Alaska, okay. So is she Alaskan or is she American? Oh, you fucked me up on that one, Snoop. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm an island boy, I put my vest on, yeah. Like a wild grown man, trying to make it to the top. I ain't seen it with a gang gang slang. You ain't gang gang, slang, daddy got to use that word. I'm speechless. <laughs> Two goofballs in the pool. You know why I'm not speechless? Why? <laughs> because I'm an island. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an island boy. <laughs> I'm an island boy. <laughs> what is happening? Man? I don't know and I... ain't trying to understand it. Damn it. What's understood don't need to be explained. Well, and I don't want to understand it. It does need to be explained. What? How I became an island boy <laughs> on, on and they, Knock it off, you know. man. You know, I've been up all night. I ain't get to bed till like four in the morning. Four in the morning?
Yeah. What your old ass doing up to four in the morning? What you, you was out partying? No, I was studying our um, Olympic research binder. You study what? The Olympic research binder, getting my research together. Who gave you a binder? You ain't got one? No, I don't have no binder. Ain't nobody give me no binder. Mm. Why you got a binder? It's, so you got... Three. Nobody gave me a binder. What? Great. Hey, I need some tissue. I've been crying. My, my eyes Wait, is dude, watering. Hold on. We got some pickup questions we're going to do. But well, goddamn, with... my eyes is watering. You want me to be crying on TV? <laughs> Bring me some tissue, cuz, real quick, like. Uh, this shit called continuity. <laughs> Ain't that what y'all word y'all like using? Are we rolling? Yeah, we on there. Yeah. First of all, y'all got to tell me when we back. We're back. Don't, don't bring us out of it and not have me know. Listen, at the end of the day, respect me. You got to talk to him like that. Sometimes. I like that. That was gangster. I'm in the backseat saying? watching now. A yeah, motherfucker yeah. need to know how I roll. Yeah. Say that shit then. <laughs> right? Straight up. You know you get tougher when you with tougher people. I like that, right? <laughs> Something about being next to you makes me feel good. Yeah. <laughs> I kick a motherfucker in the back. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I would never do it. But it makes me feel I got you, though. Okay. okay. I'm going to share what my gold the, medal with you. What in the? It should only be one winner. I mean, look, I get the, the camaraderie. I get the idea of it. But ultimately, the Olympics are the Olympics for a reason. You want one person to win the gold, one to win the silver, one to win the bronze. That's the beauty of being able to say you're the best. I don't want to share my best moment with you. But hold on, Kev. The podium ain't big enough for both of us. Who, who the who fuck, fuck want to double share a podium? Come on, bro. Move over. Scoot bruh. your ass over, man. Bruh, God let me damn. Get let me get some, bro. I'm trying let to me, be on TV. Let me get some, bro. Let me get... We got to hold... Look, you Bullshit. Gotta, we over here doing this on one side. Look, you hold a piece, and I hold a piece. <laughs> and finally, Anastasia Zalotic. Is that it? Zalotich? Zalotich. Okay, Zalotich. 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 Here we go. How about I give it to you seven different ways and y'all take the right one? Ask her what it is. Anastasia Zalotich. You did? Yeah, close to Zala, bitch. You understand me? Became the first U.S. woman to win a gold medal in Thai. Right now. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong camera, though. <laughs> Boy, you nailed that name, though. You nailed the fuck out of that name. And his gold medal wrestling match against Georgie and Gino, Pete Radish's belly. <laughs> what? I mean, how do you do? Do you understand? How much does that ball weigh? 17 pounds. How the fuck do you know all this? <laughs> I'm so sick of your shit, man. <laughs> Got all the goddamn answers. He know my everything. Fuck. I'm he... a numbers guy, yeah, <laughs> my fuck. 17, 17 pounds. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who told you that? Is there somebody in your ear feeding you this shit? He know every damn thing. <laughs> Pissing me off. <laughs> One more pick up here and then we got it. Okay. How they? I, I would love to know the rules of how that's going to break down. And if it's teams, is it teams again? Well, don't pass it over here, brother. Come on, Al. You, I'll make my heart beat, brother. Come on, now. Ah, well, where did it go? Ah, I want to eat it now. Come on. Do they start off with, you know, Four smaller, feet, five feet. smaller? Yeah. Yeah, okay. They got to. Just like the high jump. You know, high jump start off two feet. Yeah. Just getting the technique together, getting the... What'd you just do? What did you just do? No. What, is, what did you just do? Yeah, what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> you just had a stroke? <laughs> That's the high jump, cuz. Snoop just had a stroke mid-example. You gotta get, he just died. <laughs> mid-example. Mid That's the, my high jump. I got the backwards technique where I lean back. You know what I'm saying? I can show you better than I can tell you. Let them pull a motherfucking mat in here and put a pole up. And I, I hit that some bitch. Y'all want to see some shit? Bring a motherfucking mat in here and put a motherfucking stick up there like five foot seven. And I'll show you motherfuckers how to Snoop, do the high jump. I think when we do this again, me and Snoop have to do a medley of some of the events. Because I think I'm five foot six. I can high jump. That's an easy play for me. I'll tell you what, we'll both be broadcasting with neck braces on. <laughs> Sarah, my, my wife just had to text me my address where I live. Let me know. <laughs>
<laughs> Show you where my mind is. Mm -hmm. No shirt, no shoes, no metal. No Roger, no rerun, no rent. That's exactly Remember what I'm saying. No Roger, no rerun, no rent. That was the thing. No Roger, no, no rerun, no, no rent. rent. They don't even know no what Roger, that's from. No Roger, no rerun, no rent. Come on now. Y'all don't know what that's from. <laughs> no Roger, no rerun, no rent. If you a black person in this room right now, you don't say it with us, you should be ashamed of your damn self. No Roger, no, no rerun, rerun, no rent. No, no Roger, Roger, no rerun, no rent. There they go. Look, we just made every white person uncomfortable. We apologize. Here at Peacock, it's about comfort, yes. not discomfort. Can we show Mike a clip? Of little black Aquaman and the water police. I'd like to see this clip yeah. too. Well, My eyes to work too. You, you, got, some, you got some huh? dolphin in you. Huh? Say something. You got some dolphin Pat. in you, kid. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Trying to analyze it. I am. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to analyze it. Speaking of efficient, last thing you thought you would see was, was a little black man butterflying like that. I kick his ass. You have fins on? What'd you say? Do you have fins on? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you? I'm in the ocean, man. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Just look, at, look at the look at the stroke. It's not about what was on my feet. It's about fizz. you saying the he technique. Had on fizz, Mike. Listen, he definitely on. did. Listen, sure. Listen, listen. Look at that. He definitely had spins on. Listen, listen, listen. First of all, that actually doesn't count because you can't hey, use spins in the race. Hey, first of all, I don't know how how good is his eyes to see that I have fins on. I got on glasses and couldn't see yeah, him. No, no, he that's said it. that, I see the fans, <laughs> I see him. Yeah. In women's beach volleyball, the U.S. duo of April Ross and Alex Klein... Kleinman? Kleinman. Kleinman. Alex Kleinman came together for dominant gold medal victory. Check it out. Uh, Ari, Ar Ariane, well, I'm sorry, <laughs> shit, what is it, guys? Ariane. Ariane. Ariane Timmis, Titmus, Ariane Titmus. Okay, go back. I got it. Uh, now here's something to get pumped up about: Venezuelan weightlifter. Oh, here's a doozy: Kedomar Sanchez, huh? God damn it, almost. Uh, 2021 bought the end of the Kardashians on E and the end of Kim and Kanye in real life. Uh, in a divorce, Kim got the house and Kanye got the stadium. That's right. When they separated, Kanye moved into <laughs> Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz <laughs> Stadium. This is actually Kanye's room. Let's take a look. These motherfucker really did move. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It looks like the women's gym at the NCAA tournament. Look at that shit. Remember they only had three weights? <laughs> it looked like the Olympic dressing room at that game. The box the band. Exactly. <laughs> only Kanye. Look at this shit, man. Then he went to a game later that night that was on top of the stadium that he was sleeping up under. Yeah, well, when they said, Kanye, what you about to do after this? I'm about to go downstairs and go to bed. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah, I'm about to go right to sleep. I ain't gonna do too much after this. I ain't trying to be up all night. I'm gonna go right downstairs, go to bed. Tell them they gotta wrap this basketball shit up. I got a big day tomorrow. <laughs> when he was living there, Kanye was spotted making an appearance at one of those games we talking about. Let's check it out. Hey, Kanye! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Kanye got holes on his face. Kanye, Kanye walking. <laughs> Kanye walked in that bitch looking like a bank robber from the 80s. Put the money in the bag, bitch. Luther? <laughs> you know they can always see who was robbing them in the penny hole? Say you jab yeah. ass nigga, put the money in the bag. <laughs> I don't wanna hear shit you got to say if it ain't of money in the bag. Hey man, I know you. You don't know me. Stop looking at me, man. Just put the money in the fucking bag. <laughs> Go roll a clip again. Let me see what he had on walking to the gym again. Look at this shit here. God damn it. God damn it, Kanye. Nigga had on the Eddie Murphy delirious outfit with a stocking cap. <laughs> I wasn't born in Hawaii. I was born there. in San Francisco, but I did a lot of my growing up there. Yeah. So yeah, I so it was you were it was born amazing. There. I don't know. I don't think no. You told me. I, I didn't. Didn't. <laughs> no, I told you. I swore you said. I've known you for years. I've always said I was. But when we were there, you gave me a big speech like this is my land. I started. <laughs> Chicken Street. Why you dress like that? Because it's my costume. All you gotta do is go to the costume store and say, make me look stupid. I, don't stand like that. Well, that's, that's the how problem. You stood. That's not how I stood. I didn't stand exactly like that. I stand like <laughs> When we were there, you gave me a very like spiritual speech about how it all started. How you might have held you over this cliff. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cliff where I was born and my mother gave me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
This is the problem. Yes. <laughs> yeah, try, yeah, try to be respectful. You want some candy? Yes. Oh, hey, you want the king size candy? Yeah. No, you don't get that at all. Here's what you get. It's bite sized tiny, mini, like you. I don't want that. Put this in your fanny pack. Maybe next year you don't try to save money on your decorations around here. Hey, kids! Dwayne and Rock Johnson is giving out raisins and pennies. This sucks. Okay, okay. Stupid yeah. house. Okay. Tenéis muchísimos proyectos, cada uno, mm. pero habéis elegido para hacer este. ¿Por qué? Okay, you have a lot of projects around that you could have chosen. You pick this one. Why? Ah! Ah. Yeah. Good. You got it? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Uh, pero... It's, it's a scripto. Yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, muy bien. Uh, good. Uh, good. Fantástico. Ooh. Um, uh, um, caramelo ah. and uh, chocolate. Yeah. Come in. And then uh, uh, also, uh, uh, como se dice chemistry? Como se dice chemistry? Chimera. 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 <laughs> I mean, outside of the, the spiritual grounds that you took me to, and I swore, you even <laughs> sung a song. You were like, <laughs> yeah, but I remember, I, I specific, we'll talk about it later. Really? Well, what, how the song go? The song, you were like, Same. you were like, Kula Matana. <laughs> I smell a lot of Marvel bitches up in here. Wait a second. <laughs> I smell it now. You smell it now. I smell it now. I smell all those Marvel bitches now. Snore. That makes Big it time. worse, though. Big time snore. So coming out now. Okay, well, you fart in your sleep. How about that? Yeah, well, that's a different situation. He farts in his sleep. Gas X. That's uh, not my best friend. <laughs> Whatever. He he's sleeps a, with a diaper. He's a person. All right. These are personal problems <laughs> that nobody needs to know. Chris Evans. <laughs> Captain America, Superman and Batman will slap you right back into the Fantastic Four. You ain't... You... We will kick your ass right back to Asgard. That's right. That's right. I kicked your ass out your guard, you stinky bitch. Yeah, go. I got you. Which of your co-stars would you like to switch with? Who would you be? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick DJ too. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna say DJ too, because I don't know what it's like to be stupid. I, I want to be stupid just for a day. I just want to be I just just a dumb idiot. Man. I just want to know nothing. Like I want to know nothing. Uh, hey, what's up, man? All right, cool. Good to see Rock. All right, what we got here? What we got here? Okay, we got all the show shot. We got set right here. Okay, cool. Hey. Boss man. Hey, make sure you give me a thing. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot on Central set. Intelligence. Central Intelligence. Shoot my video. Hanging out. I'm shooting my video. Well, I'm sure. Yeah. He shoot his video. Fuck your video. No, fuck your video. I will, my fans my, will slap the No, you crazy. My, my fans will beat the fuck out your fans. No, fuck your fans. What, uh, what, what, what type of, uh, what type of person were you in school? Were you ladies, man? Yeah. Nerd? Which one? Class clown. I was a class clown. I was a class clown back in high school. I was a class clown. Because I was the one I was just making everybody laugh. I was the one ah. who I would throw my voice. I would throw my voice and be like, hey, he did the thing. Ah. And then he'd get into <laughs> I like your movies more, Kevin. Oh, come on, man. Don't make me blush ah, you know, up here. I do. I Don't do, you yeah. make me... I mean, some of our favorites was the, uh, the Big Short. Wait, that, wait, what? No, 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 that's not my... Hip Hop Hobbit. That no, was good. Wait, that's not, that's not my movie. That Oompa Loompa movie you did, that no, was real good, too. No, I didn't do Oompa Loompa. What the f*** are you talking hey. about? I never did that. <clears throat> I'm Kevin Hart, right? <laughs> right, in high school. Um, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, no. She, she ain't hear me. She ain't hear me. She ain't hear me. <laughs> Hey, what's up, money? No, no, he ain't seen. Come on, ah, oh. come on. Hey, Miss Johnson, yeah, I'm gonna do good on that test. Yeah. I don't know what it was like working with the. Uh... <laughs> oh, he was great. Rock was great. He did that thing, yo. I don't know why I blink right now, but I just... that's what he. I can't even do it. <laughs> I can't even do it. Don't forget, you gotta say the question so they know what you're talking about. What do you say it like that for? Like, why are you, you angry all of a sudden? Because you forget all the time. We just you just answer this. it. 
Why Make can't sure you just be know nice? What doing. Did he not take his medicine? I'm on edge, baby. I ain't had my coffee for this. <laughs> <laughs> Sensitive times, everybody. <laughs>
How do you how do you get it? Every day? Almost every day, yeah. Every day. I got one in my house. Yeah. Got one in your house. Somebody's doing well. It's a tin tub. It's filled with ice. Success. Hashtag blessed. Oh yeah. There we go. My biggest thing is just getting in and then getting used to it. Right. I never get used to it. Uh, for people who don't know who I'm talking to, this is Blake Griffin. Huh? Blake Griffin, AKA BG, Bubble Guts. No. Nope. Blake, you're from Oklahoma, man. Yeah. Why didn't you want to play for the Oklahoma City Thunder? You know, I was drafted to Los Angeles and- uh, Yeah, but how come you didn't say, I want to be a Thunder? I, you know, at that point I was a rookie. You know, I just wanted to- Is Oklahoma mad at you? I don't know. You were just up for a new deal. Mm. So you could have been like, you know what? Now it's time for me to go home. No, I thought about that. And, uh, you know, the Clipper, I've been with the Clippers my whole career. And I just thought it was important for me to uh, finish what I started. So f Oklahoma, basically. My name is Blake Griffin, and here's my ass. Kiss it, Oklahoma. No, 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 I get it. I'm Blake Griffin, and I'm following the money. Here goes the money train, and look at me getting on it. Money coming out my okay, butt. Okay, yes, that's what I did. There you go. Good for you. Sorry. CP getting traded, man. Yeah. Are you sad? Yeah, obviously. I mean, the, the, one of the best players in the league. Mm -hmm. um, played with him for six years. To see a player like that go. Um, tough. You know, it's tough. But at the same time, um, it's, a, it's a new opportunity for us as a team. Did he tell you before? Did you guys yeah, have a conversation before? Yeah, I talked to him. That's yeah, it means a lot. You know, when you see, like, animosity between guys, mm -hmm. they miss that. That you know, connection. So what is going on? What is in this pot? I get that question a lot. Here's the best way I know okay. how to describe it. My dad's black, my mom's white with red hair. Okay. Sorry. How'd that happen? Like, let's Honestly, go get into that. That's what the people want to know. It's like the early 80s in Oklahoma. That was a crazy time. <laughs> I mean, you know. Hey, y'all know what was going on in Oklahoma in the 80s. Uh, and then they just... Everybody, yeah. everybody was doing that. How did, so the hair, so you just, can you take it off? No, no, it's actually just my real hair. You know? That's in there? Yeah, it's in there. So it's not, I thought it was a piece. No, no. Good for you. Thanks. Good for you, man. Whatever, we're not to dig into it. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Woo! Come on, it's not that bad. I know. Like, just get in. Got it. Three, two, one, And, and I'm gonna do it five, on my piece. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna count fives. 10. 20. 19. 20, 18. 18. 10. Here we go. Five. 100. 199. Okay. All right, here we go. You ready? Three. I'm serious, serious. You got it? All I got to do, my thing is I just got to stand up first. What, what were you drafted? I was drafted one? number one, yeah. Number, number one. Number one overall, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, man. You remember who else was in a draft? Yeah. Who? Uh, Hashim Tabit was second. Tabit? Yeah. James Harden was third. That was quite a draft, man. Not a lot of busts in that draft either. Yeah. Except Tabit's bum ass. <laughs> That's a bust. That's a busted bone. Do you talk about it? Like when you see James and stuff, do you guys still talk about it once in a while? Not really, no. But you never go like, remember that time when I was number one in the draft and you were number three? Now that you How do you feel about James's contract? I'm happy for him, man. Happy Are you? Him. Yeah, I'm really happy for him. He deserves it. Man, so now, look at you now. Look where you stand now. God. Let's talk about the playoffs and where you guys don't go. Like what? What? What's the? What's the problem? It's hard, you know. Everybody else is trying to win a championship too. Only one team comes out. On is it Doc Rivers' fault? No, it's nobody's individual fault. If you can say behind somebody's back, yeah, it's his fault. You will say Doc. Abby, Abby, Abby. All right. Are you gonna get in the tub? I'm in. What do you, what do you, I don't understand what you want me to do. You invited me here to do this cold yeah, stuff, and you're yeah. not doing the cold It's because we're both uncomfortable. The show's about being uncomfortable. Do I look comfortable to you, Blake? No, you don't look comfortable. All right, so that's my point. I'm trying to. Do I look to... comfortable? I mean, you look like you do it a lot more than I do. All right. <sighs> there we go. What do they say about redhead guys? Do you guys have a thing? I don't think so. It's got to be a thing. Craig! Oh, my God. Craig, Google red hair men. It's a, uh... Picture of Blake Griffin. You're the only one. Good for you, Blake. I'll stand up for redheads. You should do like a commercial. You would nail it. Hi, I'm Blake Griffin and I like to dunk. Uh-oh. I guess I'm gonna have to dunk some dandruff. Cut. That's it? You do it to your camera.
Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm basketball's Blake Griffin. I like to dunk. Cut. This is stupid. Who do you not like in the NBA? Um, honestly, I like everybody. No, you're uh, about to say something. We're all working somebody. hard. We're all trying to do our best, and no. I think that's great. No, it's a lie. There's people that you don't like. Do you and Draymond Green get along? Yeah, we actually do get along. He never kicked you in the dick? Mm-mm. Never? Never got me. He kicked a lot of people in the dick. I saw, but yeah. he never got me. That's his thing. Good for you, though. Never got me. Good for you avoiding it. All right, let's take the stool out. We got to go all the way in. All right. Well, I just got used to this. Come on. You got to yeah. get used to it. All right, you're right. Let's do it. Stool is coming out. Let Boy, me get mine. Get that ice off there. I got mine out. All right. That's... So, I want to know some more stuff, Blake. Word on the street is that you had the stand-up comedy bug for a minute. Yeah, I still do. I've, I've loved stand-up comedy since I was a kid. Some of your favorites. Give me some of your favorites. Uh, Carrot Top. Right off the bat. I mean, that's what comes to mind. Hey, come on now. Some of your favorites, man. Give me a, give me some of your favorites. Uh, growing up, I used to, I mean, I used to watch with my dad, so like Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy. There has to be, you know, another comedian out there that you're probably, that you're probably like, oh, shit, he's so funny. Who would you probably? Um... Like, are you not a fan of, of me, or? Oh, no, you're great. I like I like your stuff. You're... Have you seen any of my stuff, Blake? Yeah, yeah, what, uh, What have you seen? Like, what's my favorite bit? Give me one of my specials names. Just give me one. All right, we'll just edit, we'll edit that. We'll, we'll just, we'll put a good spit on that, on that question, guys. And just really kind of puts me in a position just where I'm like, F you. Like, just, but, but we're not gonna, I'm gonna edit that out. Give me one of your jokes. Tell me one of your jokes. What's one of your one of your bits? Uh, so I do this bit about how when you're a basketball player, people always are yelling at you at the sh in the street. Like, <laughs> so I'm walking down the street. <laughs> so I'm walking down the street, right? And people would just be like, "Yo, yo, Blake, go Lakers." <laughs> Honestly, my timing is so messed up right now. I... Yo! Oh my god. Are you gonna said, just get in the tub? You said when well, you tall, you play basketball. <laughs> oh my god, you're so good. All right, that's enough of that. Can I got some questions for you. Can I sure. just, can I ask you some? Sure. What video game am I on the cover of? Easy. Yeah. Very easy. FIFA. FIFA. That's wrong. You're on the cover of FIFA. Hey, hey, hey. That's one. You're not even all the way in the tub. I'm on, what are you talking about, man? not in the tub all the way. Question number two. What year did I win the NBA Slam Dunk Contest? I remember that because right. that's when you, let me think something, you jumped over to Kia. Yep. And that's how I remember the year because I remember Kias were hot that year. Yep. I'm gonna go 2009. 2011. Give him some ice. Hey, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me, look, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at my eyes for a second. Hey. Same time for the next question, too. You know why I don't trust you? Because you don't have any facial hair. You don't trust a man without a mustache. Baby butt face ass. I'm not going to deal with this shit. Me and my guy? We got a good thing going. Oh, Steven Seagal? Steven Seagal is the That's jet. not his name. That's Lil Seagal. That's what I call it. Fernando. That's little Ronaldo. Let's just keep calling him not. Just, no, don't, because he never blinks or nothing. Just leave him alone, yeah. Okay, last question. Yep. This is for the rest of the ice. Okay. What was my home telephone number, the landline, not cell phone? Easy, Oklahoma. Because that's, that's, no, that's when, wrong. You, that's when wrong. you went to... That's enough! My man. Got it. I deserve that. I know why you did it. I just need to relax. F you. Hi, I'm Kevin Hart. And unless you hate laughter, click and subscribe. And if you do hate laughter, you get to walk down the street and mm. people are like, oh, that's Kevin. Hey, what's up? Mm. While me, I'm bombarded. I'm mm. suffocated. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. I have no peace of mind. Mm. People might walk up to you occasionally, and they might want to just take a picture with you and mm -hmm. say, congratulations, great work. Mm -hmm. With me, they want to debate. Mm. My life is harder. Well, Stephen, here's what I want you to realize. A, you're lying. Nobody comes up to you. OK? Stephen A. Smith does not have one fan. <laughs> not one. There's never been a request for a picture. 
There's never been a request for a debate. <laughs> you are snap, you're, you're snap finger famous. That's the guy, that's the, what's the guy that's on the, uh, <laughs> What's the, what's, the, what's the guy that's uh, what's that? What's the guy that's on the thing? Uh, they're on the ESPN thing. That's what they do. Like, hey, hey, do me a favor. <laughs> Tell Chuck that nobody wear that many pieces in the suit no more. Just <laughs> <laughs> check it, man. Hey, Chuck is dressed like a pallbearer. It's awful. It's awful. What cash did you carry today, Chuck? Oh, Come on, man. My it's an all-star game, guys. Loosen up. Why don't you just admit to the public and to America that you got that from listening to me? Because that's what I've been saying all week. Well, Stephen, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to admit is that you need the rest of your mustache back. That's what I'm going to admit. Okay, that's that's what I'm going to admit. I don't know. I don't know what he did. I don't know what you he did up here. This well, man. listen, I don't know what he I'm did up there, that. but I'm I want out. you to grow the rest of that. There's too much space in between here. That's the first thing. <laughs> People underestimate you when you're small, Conan. Like, look, honestly, look at the way you shook my hand when I came out. It was a little disrespectful, Conan. <laughs> like, that's, that's being honest. Like, you didn't, you didn't make eye contact. You didn't really look at me. You looked over me, waved, rubbed my hand. <laughs> it's, it's a thing of disrespect, Probably. I, right? I may have done that. Yeah, I don't know. Good. I may have done that. I've got to be more careful and sensitive you do. about that. You, you have an exclusive uh, announcement. I do have an announcement. Okay, this is actually breaking news right breaking. now. Breaking. Breaking news, and I chose to do it here. Despite your choice of bad suits, <laughs> I chose. Ah, ah, I chose. Ah, I chose. You see how fast it hey, came? Yeah. You, you, act, ready. you, you act ready. You ready. Hey, real quick, let me say this. <laughs> Ask him what sermon is he preaching at tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kenny, Kenny in here dressed like a pastor that ain't make it. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey what? What church failed that you used to preach at? <laughs> you know, when I come here, you guys are really, really cool about me doing my thing. And it may be because I'm better than you at your jobs. I don't know, okay? The fact that I'm a, a walking almanac. <laughs> the fact that I don't wake up. I ask for respect. Don't point at me. I ask for respect. I don't think I you know what an almanac means. Yeah, I'm oh, sure about that. my name is Matt, and I got on a suit with a nice tie, so I'm going <laughs> to say something like this. Mm. Almanac. I think you mean an encyclopedia. Mm. <laughs> I'm Mac, and I know words. Mm. Like elasticized. Mm. I'm sick of it. The both of you. You're going to get this woman the respect that she deserves from now on, else I will come back. That was... <laughs> and I let some things slide, Colin. Like, when you wear corduroys and your back pockets touch, I don't say nothing. When you got to... Like, I let it go, you know? Because I don't know. That means you have no ass. <laughs> Everybody knows what he means. Steven uses a lot of the big words. I don't really think he knows the definition of a lot uh -huh. of these words, but he throws them out at <laughs> great, at, 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 at great points uh -huh. to make him come off as an educated man. Such as? Yeah. Uh, well, I've heard Steve use words like despicable. Uh, he used it wrong a couple of times. He was like, uh, listen to me, Skip. You have no despicable timing. Uh, I was like, what? Uh -huh. what is that? Where'd that go? Uh, yeah, definitely yeah. wasn't supposed yeah. to be there. Uh, right. uh, he does that a lot. <laughs> Kat, how are you doing? I am good. You're a married man. I know. Off the market. <laughs> Calm down, ladies. It's all gone, ladies. You missed your chance. You missed your chance. You had a chance. You chose 50 Cent. You choose. You chose wrong. She chose wrong back then. We talked about you possibly. I asked you, actually. I said, what would make your day? And Shaq said, go ahead and say it. You said, win the MVP. And here it is. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to go out there and compete and have fun. Uh, you know, that's, that's what this game is about. It's about, you know, being with the fans and, uh, you know, putting on the show. And I well, feel like that's we did that. not the most stupidest answer I've ever <laughs> It took seven years. And then I was like, you know what? She deserves it because I can't keep just letting this walk around free. That's not fair to her. Like, I got I to gotta lock this up. I'm talking about my body. That's what I'm talking about. So, uh, <laughs> so... So, so I uh, I propose, man, and I can honestly say, will you stop stop laughing? No, I was serious when I said that. I, that wasn't a joke. I was serious. Where were you last year what? when the Eagles stunk? Oh, I'm Where sorry. Where were you? I couldn't find you. I was okay. looking for you. I couldn't find you. Oh, that's I couldn't right. find you anywhere. You're too busy. That's but, right. But, but now they got a little, little they win in a few games, and here you are. That's right, because you speak about year? the Knicks. Where were you last year? Because you talk about the Knicks. Oh. Who speaks up on the team's behalf when your team is losing? There's nothing to talk about. So as a sports fan, if you got nothing to say, you don't say it at all. Right now, guess what? My birds are flying. Oh, oh, oh. That's what we doing. Soaring. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to talk. 
I bleed, Philadelphia. Man is giving you the business on your birthday, Stephen A. Smith. You know what? Another he, cupcake. He, Ruined. He, he, he bleeds, Philadelphia. Hey, Kevin, I, I've seen your new, your, no. I've seen your new uh, show where you sit in the hot tub. Your yeah. body ain't that good when you can just walk around without your shirt off. I First of all, you to know if that. we're ever going to talk about bodies, I want you not to be the one to bring that conversation <laughs> up. All right? If you don't get out of here shaped like a bean bag that got sat in. <laughs> I like where Max goes. Max not afraid of you. See, that was Skip's problem. Skip would get afraid, and he would start to hunch his shoulders real weird. And then his, his stance would just get unconfident, and then he would slouch. You beat him down. Max ain't standing for that. You're not going to beat Max down. You're a bully. With a capital B. You come here and you bully people with words that we don't understand. Half that stuff ain't even in a dictionary. Excuse me. <laughs> that would be him. You got to. That you, would be him. You that would to. be him. That's hey, not me. Listen, I've got nothing on him. You're looking at a player that's glossosizes. What? <laughs> what did you say? That would be him. He, he that would be him. He glossosizes and, and that makes him a traumatical disastication. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay? I hear you. Pretty up sure here. you did say galosticize at one point. Who I does? never know what it meant. Never did it. Never up did. here, naming dinosaurs. Let's go. Let's go. All right. The one thing that me and Q kept talking about, we was like, yo, the way that you wear your jeans, they're, they're like so fitted, they're so small. Like whenever you walk, it's like a it's like petite, like put together, but it's like something's mysterious about it. And we was like, Y'all don't know how much we mess with him because oh, yeah. of the way he walks. We like, we was like, Connor, man, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way I walk! I have a normal walk! <laughs> hey, how come he didn't play in a celebrity game yeah, this year, man? Oh, yeah. well, you're the guys, pretty, you're the guys, perennial MVP. What MVP's. else do you want from me? The I'm a four-time MVP. MVP. I'm in a Hall of Fame of Celebrity Games. It's over. Oh, it's over. I can't do it anymore. I achieve greatness. Shaq, you know what that feels like. Yes, yes, Kenny, I know you yes, know what that feels like. Yes, yes. Like. Right, I'm going to stop it right there. <laughs> well, I, I have one question here. Well, ask it, Skip. Why, why morning after morning do you sit up in your bed watching us talk about nothing. Could it be because you're addicted to watching us talk about nothing? No, no. Like so many viewers are? No, no, no. no. Yes, no, yes, I'm yes, yes, yes. I'm addicted to what are you going to say wrong next? Oh, <laughs> okay, that's what I'm addicted to. You know, Skip, I've never seen a man that, that can be wrong and, and keep the same straight face. <laughs> and I, I've never seen somebody that's wrong so much. I have seen Skip contradict himself so many times and look in the camera and not blink. When it comes to LeBron James, how many times is this man contradicting himself? Yeah, I'm done, I'm done, man. We cannot join yeah, You better be done, because if you smile fast enough, uh -huh. your lips will bleed. Right <laughs> I'm on fire! Bow, bow, bow! Look, look, he's uncomfortably uh, drinking no. water. <laughs> hey, Shaq, I told you I was going to get him, Shaq. Real quick, do we have anybody that can fly some checks to get for Kenny before we go? <laughs> <laughs> I got some of my Kenny, navel. Did you hear about Charles the other night? No, I just that? need Kenny to lick his lips. Okay, right here, go. Here you go. Please. Oh, God, save him. Hey, you on now. national television. Hey, see? Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> Listen, man, you've been on this show several times. You've gotten beat down on several occasions. Uh, we I've never lost. That's a lie. I've never Listen, lost. Listen, that's one of the things we... <laughs> yeah, well, my word of the day, fabricate. fabricate. How about how about that one? Bloviate is and a lot I, better. Well, you say bloviate. Where, where you get it from? Because you didn't know about it until I said it. First of all, so, so, you know you. where I got it from? Where? One of the words that you pull out your behind because oh! you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's what you do, man. Okay. In your belly button. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, no. It looks like a bottomless pit. Oh. Oh, no. What is that? What's that thing around it, John? Oh, that's a Vaseline. I, mean, oh, oh, I don't even like oh, the fact gosh, you're trying to show it. abs and it just pushed another piece of fat out. <laughs> Question, do you guys have a problem with you saying these comments? I do. I'm trying to figure out what... I want you to lower your voice. <laughs> lower your voice. You're not talking to her. You're going to give me the respect that I deserve. Don't talk to me like I'm a man. Go ahead. I have a problem with what he said. I'm trying to figure out how in God's name... I'm done with you, Steve. Max. Well, clearly... The Paulo. <laughs> yes. And Dick Cheney. Take a sip. Yeah. All right, stop. Colin, why don't y'all two switch two pays? <laughs> that, 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 oh, that was a, funny. Back to, right, to the debate. Who, while you're very athletic for an actor, mm -hmm. for a comedian. I'm going to stop you right there. I'm done. 
I'm done. You want to know what I'm seeing? You want to know what I'm smelling? Mm. Jealousy. Mm. Jealousy. I'm sorry that my body is perfect. What do you want me to do? I'm sorry that I'm in the most amazing shape that I could possibly be in. I'm sorry that I don't sit down and my underwear is flip over, that little band flip over like it does you guys. Is that why you wore a onesie to the set today? This is called a sweatsuit. Oh, oh. It's called an athletic sweatsuit. I wasn't sure. Because you guys got snap-off suits on that you can grab from the back and do what you want with. You mad at me? <laughs> I'm sick.